and Laura, these are accidents that haunt a pediatric surgeon at Children's Mercy. After seeing seven horrible lawnmower accidents in one summer, she made it her mission to change things. And I met the family of one of her patients who came close to losing their young son. Eight-year-old Chester Clark is back visiting Children's Mercy, where he spent a lot of time after a lawnmower accident three years ago. He lost his leg above the knee. He doesn't remember much. The last thing I remember is that to my grandpa was the person who accidentally ran me over. He looked, but Chester was short enough that when you turn around, you can't see that far down. So he never saw Chester. Chester's family wants to tell his story because they know this is an accident that didn't have to happen. The mistake was allowing Chester to play outside during mowing. Chester's surgeon remembers getting the emergency call, the tremendous blood loss, and what it took to save him. Any of these are always very distressing to me, and his injury was extremely severe, just about life-threatening. Dr. Jarka studied 20 years of lawnmower injuries at Children's Mercy. Two things stand out. It usually involves riding lawnmowers, and the highest number of injuries involved four-year-olds. The four-year-olds are the ones that are excited. They want to be around grandpa, dad, whoever's mowing. It looks like fun. They want to ride on the riding lawnmower, and they fall off. So never take the chance. It only takes two seconds for a kid to go next to a lawnmower or get sucked under a lawnmower. Um, it's, it happens so fast. As you could see, Chester now has a prosthetic leg. He's doing very well, but as mom said, it has been a very long and emotional journey for those folks. Oh, of course it has. Now, Dr. Jarka has spent decades mm -hmm. studying this. Were there any injuries that stood out to you? Well, in many cases like Chester's, the injuries actually happen when a child was in someone else's care, like a grandparent or someone maybe who's not used to having children around. So this is actually a warning, not just for parents. This is a warning that we want to get out to everyone. Absolutely. Thanks, Kelly.